Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of the HTML and CSS course. In this episode, I'm gonna go ahead through the basic elements and tags of HTML. So yeah, uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell you what is an element or a tag. So that is one of these. For example, the body is a tag, uh, also known as an element. And the P, which means paragraph, is also a tag. So yeah, these are the tags. Usually, element refers to this entire... Hey, it's me from the future. Usually, the element means the tag plus the content inside of the tag. And then, the tag only means the uh, body or P or whatever. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and open this with a live server. Like that. And we got it here. It says this is the HTML5 syntax. And yep, we went through that in the previous one. Anyways, in this episode, I'm going to show you some of the basic uh, HTML elements. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and let's say h1 i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then control b can be pressed and the uh, navigation bar goes to hiding okay i have an h1 header here and by the way i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna put the windows side by side all right here we are so yeah H1 means heading 1, so that's a pair of H1 tags. I'm gonna write in welcome to my website. And there we go, it's a big bold text. So yeah, that defines headings. Usually underneath you have a P tag with some text. In VS Code you can generate some sample text by typing in lorem and hitting tab and save. And it is supposed to resemble Latin apparently, even Google wants to translate it, but that's a paragraph with CSS we can then later on change the styling, such as the size, color, uh, background, color, placement, and other stuff, and properties of this element. And yeah, we will basically have everything except JavaScript on our hands. So yeah, that's the paragraph. I'm going to show you another useful one. That's going to be HR. All right, let's add a HR. That means horizontal rule. I'm going to save. And now you can see we have a line below the header of the website. I'm going to show you a little bit of CSS as well. So I can type in there's three ways to type CSS, uh, inline, external, and a style sheet. So inline is this, uh, external is from, uh, external is use by using a link attribute. Let me actually create one of them as well. And also there's internal. So you can use the style attribute inside of this head section. Anyways, I'm gonna go over here. Now, this is called an attribute. An attribute gives details about a, an element or a tag. 
For example, this tag is giving us the information that this tag is most likely having some CSS customization. Let's say, for example, uh, font dash size colon, uh, let's say 5em and a semicolon. Now you can see that the font of the website is a lot bigger. Alright, so that's the style. I'm gonna go more into attributes in the later episodes. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and... Alright, there we go. I wanted to get all the text visible. Which I didn't get, but almost. So yeah. Also, what you can do to clean up the code is have the content like this and the tag like this. So, this is one way. But it's completely okay to have them all on one line as well. Okay, then I'm gonna show you what a h2 tag means. h2 Welcome to my site. There we go. Header heading tree. Welcome to my site. There's heading four. There we go. And now you can see I accidentally wrote a quote over here. And it's actually appearing on the website. Even though it's not inside of any elements. So yeah, the text doesn't require the being inside of an element thing. It will be shown on the web page. Or it might be shown on the web page anyways. So yeah. Then we have heading 5. So welcome to my site and then save so it's getting all the time smaller and smaller we have also lastly but not least heading six welcome to my site so the heading tag is often used to style uh, Different headings, subheadings, uh, categories, uh, links, even maybe, and uh, yeah, basically everything that requires a big heading can be styled with these. The H1 is usually used in the main name of the website. For example, welcome to. Uh, Google. We could say that. And then welcome to my site, welcome to my blog, welcome to my vlog, I don't know. So you could do stuff like this, alright? So basically this is usually the main heading. If you are reading at a news article, then it's going to be the name of the news article, most likely. Alright. Then these are usually used as subheadings, so something that, it, that is not as important as the heading of the uh, site, but almost, I mean, needs a heading anyways. These are used for them. So, for example, we can use a h4 tag for something like check. Oh, check out my blog. And then underneath we could write an entire blog. Of course, I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah. So these are kind of like uh, subheadings. And uh, they describe content that is important. I'm gonna write this 
actually maybe learn better if you follow along and so uh, subheadings they describe content that is important and should have a heading even though it is not the main heading or the name of the site all right and these if you remember from the last episode are comments and I made one mistake see over there now this section of my site is commented out if I save nothing's gonna happen because I think I actually yeah I already had enough time to save so yeah the comments they need one uh, opening tag exclamation mark and two dashes then two dashes and a closing mark so this is a comment all right so remember to be very very uh, uh, you, uh pay attention to that all right then I'm gonna show you the uh, let's say the 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 Ooh, one interesting thing uh, you might see that we have these breaks and enters and what if I did for example this well then nothing changes on the website that's because these uh, paragraph tags they ignore all of that so or the rather the HTML syntax or HTML ignores white spaces all right so these will not make a little bit of a difference there's actually a lot of white spaces in there anyways if we use a tag called pre uh, this is an, is an exception the pre tag doesn't ignore white spaces so remember that okay let's say this is this uh, kind of let's add many spaces a special tag enters that does not follow the normal HTML oh that created a tag no 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 rules of HTML so yeah in case you were wondering what syntax means it's basically the rules how a language is written like English or this one maybe all right let's see when I save the page you can see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so it says this is the kind of a special tag that does not follow the normal rules of HTML so with the PRE tags the text is shown exactly as it is written in the document alright so uh, try to remember these heading paragraph horizontal rule and pre-formatted text I actually didn't tell the name of this one previously but it is PRE is preformatted text. So preformatted text. There we go. All right. And I promised to show the link element. So we have a title inside of the head element which contains a uh, basically data about our website that's not visible on the website for example what character set are we using 
and stuff like that. Let's add a, another tag. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, well, that's gonna work as well. Or actually, I will do this. Yes, alright. I'm gonna say uh, link and R E L. That means relationship. What is the relationship between the file I'm linking and this one? I'm gonna say style sheet. Then I'm gonna say href. And this is another attribute. So the href means hypertext reference. And that's basically going to be a link. There's two types of URLs or links. Absolute and relative. An absolute uh, URL would be something like... Let's create a new file. Uh, page 2 dot html then an exclamation mark press tab then we can say uh, let's say that this is going to be my blog okay and add an h1 heading that says welcome to my blog site Alright, remember to save both of the files, and now, when we open the file explorer, Ctrl B, Ctrl Shift E, or just click here, whatever you wanna do. So, inside of here we have these files, they are right next to each other. That means that this is a relative file path. So we can just type the file at the extension. So that's gonna be href is gonna be page2.html. And you can see that Visual Studio Code is trying to assist us. There we go. Alright. Then uh, we gotta add a closing tag. So. The link tag is one of the tags that has only an opening tag, as you can see. So these are called void elements. They don't require a closing tag. The difference is that uh, tags that require a closing tag, the forward slash is the one thing where you can recognize that. Uh, usually the elements that require that contain some kind of content between them. But what do we have in b between the link tag? We don't have anything, we have just a couple of attributes. The relationship, it's a style sheet. By the way, this is not a style she sheet, this is gonna be... Um, Let's say text HTML. Uh, hypertext slash HTML. All right. And the href is that. But there's one issue with this. It will not work. It will not appear anywhere. We can't use that. And yeah, it's only a loading in the head section, which means it's loading in the background. So, the link tags, they can be used to link a style sheet. For example, not syntax, but style sheet. Let's say, uh, style dot CSS. So I'm going to create a CSS file. So new file and then style.css. I'm not going to do anything with this yet, but this is a CSS file or a CSS style sheet. So with the link tag 
we specify the relationship and uh, uh, the location an absolute URL would be something like this uh, assets styles style now that would be an absolute URL so yeah it would not be in the same folder basically anyways we can use this one which is relative okay and then I wanna show how to create links on the site I'm gonna go down here and under the pre tag I'm going to write a this means anchor this is the anchor tag and this has the href attribute let's say https colon slash slash uh, www.google.com we can write some text between like go to Google from here and then we can add more attributes remember this uh, HTML rules or the syntax ignores white space so we can say enter here and type in uh, target equals let's say uh, let's leave it empty first I'm gonna show what happens so there's the link go to Google from here let's go well it actually takes us to Google Wow yes all right what if I set a target attribute let's say that I'm going to say uh, underscore there's these four options I'm gonna say underscore blank okay when I click on the link see the difference the link opens in a new tab and not on the same uh, window or the tab so yeah that's what the target underscore blank attribute does it opens the tab in a new window okay let's make another one this time I wanna go to my page 2 or my blog so I'm gonna say a and then close that then we add uh, a couple of attributes so href is gonna be page2.html and VS Code is going to assist us target underscore blank and then let's set a title, title as well title let's say that this is my blog okay I'm gonna save the website I mean uh, HTML file and by the way I forgot to put some set text go to my blog okay now we can see that these are appearing next to each other but uh, later on you're gonna learn why anyways now you can see when we added the title attribute it's gonna give us a little tooltip it says this is my blog when I hover over it if you take a good look at my cursor it says this is my blog and when we click that it takes us to the blog site so yeah these both of these links are working we have a link some attributes some content and yeah that's pretty much it one more thing that I want to show you and this is actually going to I'm gonna close the blog this is actually going to put the other link to a new file is the break tag so B R 
that's going to be a line break. So look at this. Now these links are on different lines. What if we add more? Then there's going to be an empty line in between. Second, third. By the way, you can also add these like this. They don't have to be on their own lines. And this is all this is also another tag that doesn't require a closing tag. So we have a total of nine BR elements or tags. Let's save. So there's the link one, then a lot of white space and that one. So yeah, the break tag adds a line break. So yeah. And they can all be at the same line. Alright. Anyways, I hope you were able to learn something new in this episode. Uh, so yeah, these are kind of the like the basics of HTML. And yeah. Anyways, I hope that I'm going to see you in the next episode and that we are going to continue along on this path. Anyways, have a wonderful day everyone, happy learning and bye bye.